Hey, what do the Hamilton Bulldogs and Doug Ford have in common? They both won in a landslide. The Hamilton Bulldogs, of course, won the Eastern Conference in a landslide, not losing a single game on the way to the crown. Doug Ford just won the entire province in a landslide. But we'll park the politics over here and focus on the Ontario Hockey League. The Bulldogs, of course, and the buzz saw that they are chasing some history. 14-0, the strongest start to any OHL playoff run. So the Bulldogs still have a chance at that. And 16-2 is the best mark for a march to the Memorial Cup. So the Bulldogs still have a chance at that. But how will they respond to adversity? They're probably going to face those first tests in this final round, the OHL Championship versus Windsor. The Spitz, a very strong team, and they've found some goaltending. Xavier Medina getting them through Game 6 in overtime in Flint, and then coming back home posting a shutout for the Game 7 win. And what can you say about this talented Spitz team when they win playoff rounds? They win a lot of them. Memorial Cups in 2009, 2010, all the way to the West Final again in 2011. Then a bit of a dry spell. They didn't win a single playoff round, including the year they hosted the Memorial Cup and won in 2017. They were knocked out in the first round, but came back as hosts to win it all. And now this year, again, back to the OHL final are the Windsor Spitfires. But the team I really wanted to talk about in this week's episode is the team that the Windsor Spitfires just beat because I'm sure it stings. I'm sure there will be memories of the one shot that could have won it in overtime in game six for the Flint Firebirds. But that organization, those players have nothing to hang their heads about. The organization, well, maybe. I mean, we had the Rolf Nilsson fiasco about six years ago. We had the Terry Christensen fiasco this year. And despite all of that, despite all of the noise, despite all of the negative publicity, these young men kept their noses to the grindstone and they focused on the task at hand. Obviously, a great deal of credit has to go to Ted Dent and the coaching staff, but to the Flint Firebirds players, you held your heads high and you completed a remarkable season despite that adversity off the ice. It's a great sign for some great young men. Yeah, they came up short, but boy, did they give it a ride this year. I'm Farwell. It's Friday. We'll see you at the rink.